Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here with the uh, uh, Inspector General of the Liberian National Police, uh, Honorable Patrick Sudu. And uh, you know, uh, for the past time, uh, he's been doing a very good job when it comes to, you know, curbing crimes and chasing, we call him uh, 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 the bad medicine for arm robbers. Anyway, uh, it is on his watch that so many of these uh, 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 things that has to do with arm robbery has been curbed. But just uh, a couple of hours ago, we saw a uh, 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 an R. Robert being, uh, 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 his corpse being displayed uh, uh, exactly in Morovia during a press conference, and we just caught up uh, with the IG here in Kwadu Boni District. Welcome to Lena Panorama, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, sir, uh, I mean, not to take up all your time, uh, you care to talk about what's unfolding behind you in Morovia. What are the news you're getting from there? Well, uh, thank you very much. Though I'm in uh, Lofa County, but uh, here they say uh, my tentacles are all over the country. So I've been here, it does not mean I'm all a touch. I'm in touch. Uh, two guys, according to the information I received from uh, my operatives, uh, two guys walked to a forest bureau opposite the Royal Grand Hotel and they, they got in the mood of dropping the guys in the forest bureau and immediately the guys alarmed and people came around. So the two guys What decided, time? What time are you talking about? I'm talking about 7, 7.30 this morning. Broadly. Wow. So the guys decided to run off. One ran behind the OUN drive supermarket, 15th Street, and ran into a compound, a private compound. Okay. And the other guy ran across the road. He got away. Um, while in the compound, the private security engaged him, trying to convince him to drop his weapon, that he was going to call the police and the police were going to... So they took arms into, yeah, into, into that, yeah, into the, the forest weapon. bureau? Yeah, yeah. Did you, you care to say what kind of uh, weapon it was, was it? It was a single barrel gun. Single These barrel local gun. ones usually? Yeah, local manufactured okay. gun. So he took the single barrel in the private security, tried talking to him to surrender his arm. He refused. And Few of the guys, because the place was kind of crowded, all the, few of the own local jumped the fence and entered the yard trying to engage him. He fired at them, and one person got wounded on the arm. So immediately, the private security and every other person ran all of the, the compound and left him in the compound. When the police arrived, the police entered the compound trying to persuade him to drop his weapon, refuse, and fire at the police. So the police returned fire. He was hit and uh, as I was told, him, he's unconscious, so... Uh, he didn't I'm, die? Well, he's unconscious. I'm not a medical practitioner. Right, right, to right. So far you're getting... He died or right, not. right. So I would just say he was unconscious, and uh, I, I guess from there he will be taken to the hospital. But what I was told by, the, uh, what I was told by my men, uh, the private security uh, uh, lamented that during the interaction with this guy, he noticed that the guy is... He's a, how do you call it, a Nigerian fellow. He's a Nigerian because, national. Yeah, Nigerian national. So, because he said he spoke plentifully uh, before the wow. whole incident. Yeah, he said he's a Nigerian guy. He tried convincing him to drop a weapon, but he was very adamant. So, uh, this is what happened in Moravia. And I would like to assure the public uh, that everybody go about the normal businesses. But as I said and continue to say, the police is in control. And we will make sure to buy apples in our community, we'll try to weed them out. And I would like to say thanks again to the community because it was because of the alarm from their community, right, the right. police were able to go and there. And they're bravery. Yeah, and brought that situation under control. So I would say everything is under perfect control and you can go about your normal businesses. We can assure the public that we are going to ensure that our community remains safe and anybody, if you engage the police with any, any force, we will respond 